In Norton Juster's The Phantom Tollbooth, Milo is bored by the world around him. School bores him. His home life bores him. Nothing interests him, until one day, he arrives home from school and finds a mysterious package. Opening it, he finds a small tollbooth and a map titled, The Lands Beyond. This map is of the Kingdom of Wisdom. There is also a note which reads, for Milo, who has plenty of time. Boredom forgotten, he decides that someone has sent him a game and takes the package to his bedroom in his family's city apartment. There, he drives an electric toy car through the toll booth, that is when he finds out it is not just a game. He is no longer in his apartment but on a mysterious road. The first place he goes to is Expectations, which he finds pleasant. There, he meets with the weatherman, confused often with the weatherman, who talks endlessly. Next, Milo gets lost in the doldrums, a place that echoes his boredom at the beginning of the story. Nothing happens in this colorless place. He runs across the Lethargarians, who are just killing time. Milo is at risk of getting trapped in the doldrums until a watchdog, a dog with alarm clocks named Talk, arrives and tells Milo that he can only escape the doldrums by thinking. Milo escapes and Talk joins him on his journey through wisdom. Together they make their way to Dictionopolis, one of the two capitals of the Kingdom of Wisdom, which is divided. Dictionopolis is ruled by King Azaz the Unabridged. At the word market in Dictionopolis, the words and letters that grant power in the world are sold. There, the spelling bee and humbug get into a fight. Milo and Talk get involved and are arrested by Officer Shrift. While imprisoned, Milo meets the witch, not the witch, who also goes by faintly macabre. The witch's job is to choose which words are used in wisdom. She tells Milo about King Azaz and Math Magician, his brother. They also had two younger adopted sisters, Rhyme and Reason, whose job it was to settle disagreements. Everything in wisdom was peaceful until Azaz and Math Magician disagreed with Rhyme and Reason, who declared that letters and numbers had equal value. Rhyme and Reason were banished to the castle in the air. After Milo and Talk are released from the dungeon, they attend a banquet hosted by King Azaz. Guests are served their words on plates, and then Azaz allows Milo and Talk to convince themselves to go on a quest to rescue Rhyme and Reason. The king uses flattery to rope Humbug into guiding them. The trio leaves for Digitopolis, Mathemagician's capital, because they need his permission as well to quest for Rhyme and Reason. On their journey to Digitopolis, they meet Alec Bings, another little boy, who exists suspended in midair. Later, Milo encounters Chroma the Great, a conductor responsible for creating colors with his orchestra. Milo subs for him and loses time in his quest. When they finally reach Digitopolis, Milo, Talk, and Humbug meet with Mathemagician. He is still angry at his brother Azaz and refuses to agree to anything proposed or approved by Azaz. However, Milo is undeterred and manages to get Mathemagician's permission to go on the quest by proving that the two kings have agreed on something. Since banishing Rhyme and Reason, he points out that they have agreed to disagree. Mathemagician is shocked but provides his consent and blessing for Milo, Talk, and Humbug to quest after the princesses. After Digitopolis, they go to the Mountains of Ignorance, where they run into demons such as Terrible Trivium. They must best Terrible Trivium, as well as Gelatinous Giant. Finally, after getting past these hurdles and facing their fears, they reach the castle in the air. There, Rhyme and Reason welcome them and consent to return to Wisdom. The castle in the air is cut loose by the demons since they cannot get inside. Thankfully, Talk can carry them back to the land because time flies. The demons follow to attack, but the Wisdom armies push them back so that Rhyme and Reason can return. The divisions between Azaz and Mathemagician are mended, and Wisdom is no longer split in two. The kingdom holds a three-day-long celebration. With everything righted in Wisdom, Milo bids farewell to the kingdom and his friends. He drives back through the toll booth and finds himself back in his room in the apartment. Despite the fact that he feels as though he spent weeks in Wisdom, he has only been gone for an hour. The next day, he hopes to return to Wisdom, but when he gets home from school, the toll booth is missing. Instead, he finds another note that reads, for Milo, who now knows the way. The note also reveals that the toll booth has been given to another child who needs to find his direction. Though Milo feels disappointed, he is no longer bored by the world around him and finds that he would not have time to return to Wisdom even if he had the toll booth. 
I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.